From the Simonis Aramith Arena at the Sheraton Norfolk Waterside Hotel, Pat Fleming presents the 2022 International Open. Thank you. Thanks very much, everybody. The International is brought to you by Accustats, and it features the greatest players in the world competing in one pocket, 10 ball and nine ball over a nine day period. We'd like to once again mention our appreciation to our three signature sponsors, Diamond Billiard Products, Simone's Cloth, and Aramith, for all they've done not only to support the international but professional pool around the world. And a special thank you to each and every one of you who have been watching all week and with us throughout the years. We really appreciate what you do to help us put these events on. So, with that being said, let's get underway. Our first player from Kuwait. This gentleman has two top four finishes at the Derby City Classic in various divisions in the past few years, and he is a threat. He's sponsored by Miyuchi and the Kuwait Olympics. Would you kindly welcome Omar Al Shaheen? Thank you very much. His opponent from Austria. This gentleman is the reigning international nine ball champion. He is here to try to defend that title. He's also the 22 Premier Pool League champion among his long list of accomplishments. He's sponsored by Predator. Kindly welcome Alban Ocean. All right guys, go ahead and lag for the break if you would please. Official timekeepers, Dwayne Payne. And we're gonna send it up to the comm box to Double J and John Schmidt. Yeah, thank you, Kenny, and another prime match, defending champion of the Bigfoot, Alban Ocean against Omar Al Shaheen. I'm Jeremy Jones. This is the 2022 International Bigfoot Challenge, and John Schmidt with us. Yeah, it's an honor to be here, and uh, two great combatants in front of us. Um, they've won a bazillion titles around the world, and it should be a lot of fun to watch these two very talented players do their thing. Omar looks very chill, kind of just looking down, contemplating, trying to get into that mode where you just let your subconscious play. You just relax, play like you're practicing. Albin always looks just really focused. Albin, one of the few players I've seen that's going to use a standard length cue now. I've seen almost everybody's been using the extension on the back of the cue. Yeah. And I don't think that's because of the five by ten. I think they're just using it, you know. Yeah. What do you think about that? You think that's? I mean, what what's the purpose of it besides just reaching? Well, I mean, or is there more to it? You think? Yeah, and you know, I might be mistaken, but years ago there were regulations because mathematically, yeah. length, length and ma weight made the game easier. Um, okay. So just added a little power and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah. Um, certain shots, I've toyed yeah. with it. I don't think I could play with it full time. Mm -hmm. I'm not one to switch, um, yeah. but certain shots, I do think there is uh, makes things a little effortless. It goes with your uh -huh. type of swing as well. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I ask the players a lot of times, why are you using that extension? I mean, what do you get out of it? And uh, I get different answers. Oh, I just long straight shots are easier. Oh, little little bobble there, trying to hold for the two. Yeah, way off oh, with yeah. the swing there, yeah. really. But if that two passes a six. Oh, no, he's got to come. Would you go rail first here, Jeremy? Yeah, that's deep. It is deep, isn't it? Oh, he's going to. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, it got away from him, too, yeah. because of that. Good thing he has that. He pocket. was playing for the two in the side, I think. Yeah, coming across the spot rail first when the ball is deep yes. is very hard to judge because you know you could whiff it. <laughs> and or catch a deep. point, catch a point, you know, all kind of bad stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, so you kind of make sure of things, and then it just can, mm -hmm. can be a little tough to control. Now, Omar, we saw him in the one pocket. Played uber aggressive towards the end. And, yes. And, uh, oh, man, yeah. that, was a, that was an odd. Well, well hey, he's looking down the barrel, and I'm not, but that seemed a little haphazard to me. Yeah, he made a nice shot to get on the five there. Yeah. And yeah. What I was getting at is something that Mark and I talked about in the last match about Omar, just for a brief second. That not saying he's 
you know, like sick under the weather or anything like that. That's always alarming these days for one reason or another. Yeah. But just maybe doesn't feel his best. Yeah. Maybe a little, uh-oh. Yeah. Maybe a little stomach issue. Um, we saw him take some extra time out, so we're granted. And he's not the type to try and work the clock uh, or take advantage of a situation. No, he's the nicest guy in the yeah. world, too. I've never seen him be, you know, combative or, yeah. you know, weird, passive-aggressive or anything. It was, I think it was a big misunderstanding. I actually, I mean, to be frank, this whole thing where they said, well, he was, like, making shots and staring at Beato. He does that anyway. Even when he's losing, I've seen him kind of look over with a friendly gesture, you know. And so I talked to him about it. He goes, yeah, I didn't. I wouldn't. I wasn't trying to be crazy or. It did look fun. odd. I, I know it that's what I've odd. heard, and I'm going to go back and watch the match. And speaking of odd, the first two strokes from Albin, way off mm -hmm. on the one, mm -hmm. and really about the only place on the table um, you could have problems here on the nine. Well, I'm going to say, in their defense, like the first time I played on a five by ten, I, it was unbelievable how. How wow, wow, really? That's shot. an unbelievable shot. But to come off the nine footers and go right to this, I think it's got to feel strange for him. I think this felt a little more broken. Right. Uh, just a hair. Yeah, so the swerve ratio is a little different, and it's just a long, tough table. Boy, how you like making this shot? What a statement this would be if he makes this. Yeah, and this is where he won't overhit it. Of course, he's not going to roll it, but he's not like a lot. Let me just mock it. You see how clean wow, he hit it, and he, he trusted it. his stroke? That's what I like about Alvin. He's yes. not going to let the distance or uh -huh. the difficulty let him get you know, away from what he does. And right. Sometimes I flinch on those kind of strokes, like, like, let me slam it, and it'll go in before something can go wrong or something. I get this feeling of, like, let me well, just whap at it, you know, and that's not really the way to stroke it. Well, you know, I do a lot of teaching, and I learned a lot about it. And it, the longer shot is the one time we can accidentally just put too much speed on the ball, unnecessary speed. You're right. Not, again, not going to slow roll the ball. No, but, but you don't got to hammer exactly, it. Exactly, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's that, amazing if you're half that distance, you just smooth it in. So why go, yeah. like, you know, way harder just because you're a few mm -hmm. feet further? And then that ramps up the distortion of the tip and, and oh, the just, miss hit and everything. There's no room for error. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. The, that's the main one. You you better hit it really well. Yeah, I feel you. And that means the cue ball, not the object ball mm -hmm. so much, the cue ball. <laughs> All right. Lots of matches going on. I'll tell you what, Jason Shaw's in the fight of his life over there with the – Francisco. John, John Francisco. Uh, Jason has to get out here to make it 5-5. I think they're probably buddies. They're from the same area. So I'm sure yeah. they've played many times. Yeah, John from New York. Right. Uh, yeah, I think he's a former police officer. Good, yeah, he is. Good NYPD. Player. Yeah, good player, too. One of actually a first responder to 9-11. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, he's a young guy, too. He's probably only 45 now. He had to be a youngster when that happened. That's right. Wow. Oh, I remember that like it was yesterday. Yeah, me too. I'm sure you I were mean, at the U.S. Open no, as well. No? no, I was at home, and I remember uh, I remember a family member just coming in and turning on TV, and the first thing I saw, I went, well, is there something wrong with the traffic controllers? They're routing planes into the building over and over. Like when the second plane, yeah. my, and my dad looked at me like, are you retarded? They're doing it on purpose. I said, no, I think there's a glitch in the traffic control. They're just yeah, routing yeah, planes yeah. wrong, you know. And I, it didn't dawn on me what was going on exactly. I've been up in those World Trade Towers, and um, man, it's just uh, it's just an awful thing to think about. Yeah, and a crazy little shot here, getting mm -hmm. from the three to the four. Yeah, I'll never forget it. I was oh, with man. Michael Coltrane right here at the U.S. Open. But yep. All right, where does he go here? Um. Oh, okay. Well, the see, see how open oh, that side of the yes. table is? He's going to cut this in and come up and down yep. in between the 810. Definitely yep. recognize that early in the rack mm -hmm. that, that that shot was available. So very much by design getting thin on the four here. I think Albin smelled blood, too. The way Omar missed that first little eight ball, you know, I mean, that kind of set the tone. And now Albin's got a chance to get up 2-0. The match could get away from Omar real quick here. You know, like I said, I don't think he's health wise. Yeah, there's something he does best. Right. Yeah, we've all been there. Wish him well. He's a real he's a real sweetheart of a guy. All my interactions with him, I just I really like him and uh that's why the the whole thing that happened the other night I just I kinda didn't it didn't make sense, you know. But Well definitely. Yeah. 
aren't going to shot there. Aren't going to make a judgment of character or right. one instance. Right, from, uh, right. A five-second window yeah. of your whole life. Let's <laughs> yeah. not, you know. Yeah, the rest of society is ready to do that. But Yo, no, for but, sure. But we're not up oh, here. And yeah. I'll tell you what, though. I've noticed that. I've noticed that with social media. Yeah. You, could, you could be a great person for 99.9% yeah, .9 of your life, and you have a little three-minute window where you sh show your butt a little bit, and, uh, man, you're the Antichrist all of a sudden. Yeah, especially if it's not your character. Uh, yes. You know, if it is your character, it's a little easily played yeah, off. Yeah, uh, but, right. But, okay, but speaking of character, this guy here, he, he is uh, willing to punish you if you give him a chance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he won't feel guilty at all if he beats Omar like 11-0. Oh, no. He already beat one opponent 10-0 in the nine ball oh, earlier wow. today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know who it was, too. It was a friend of mine. I'm not going to name his name. But, but um, yeah, this guy is a super, super talented player and has the composure in between the ears to really perform. He used to kind of get upset with himself. And he it still seems has like he, it a little bit. Does he? Does he? Okay. I but I say, think he's consciously yeah, worked on yeah, it. Yeah, he's know? worked on it, and uh, that's going to make him even tougher to beat because he's well, not beating himself. You know. Well, that and, and what makes you tougher is not only accomplishing it, but going through the, the battle of, of – of trying to defeat that one hiccup he may maybe has you know mm -hmm. i mean mm -hmm. on the table we talked about him earlier really maybe breaking the balls he's a hair behind a few of the top top guys mm -hmm. but he still breaks great oh yeah um just you know maybe again gets a little beats himself up at mm -hmm. times mm -hmm. to keep it simple yeah well he's a predator player using that town chalk mm -hmm. seeing a pattern <laughs> <laughs> And this is one thing he's definitely improved a lot at. He he used to overhit them uh -huh. and not get Let that timing. Right, you know? that pop, that hop back exactly. and squat. I think him and Niels actually had the same issue for a while, just kind of overhitting them. And they're, they're never going to be two guys that, you know, take much off. Uh-huh. Uh, but there is a point, especially with the template, I think right. that you can overhit the 10-ball rack. Yeah, I just don't think you have to hit them that hard with the template. No. Right. Well, you kind of generate power a little more mildly is all it is. Right. You know, you just don't swing at it that hard. You uh -huh. just kind of generate power with, with swing itself rather than speed. Do you do you kind of like trying to go into the 10 here, maybe knock the 10 in the side, just go right at the 10 to play shape? Uh, or, or would he? I mean, I would at least I'd attempt to go at it. I, right? I think so, especially if the one's any kind of tight. Uh, uh -huh. If the one's any kind of tight, I, I don't, you know, I want to, I want to attack a little more. Meaning, oh, okay. I want to hair more speed on the cue ball if the ball's a little tight. Uh, okay. I don't like dribbling to a half a pocket right. myself. I want to shoot it a, a little more. Uh, oh, he went, just avoided the ten completely. Well, wow. He's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just accept, accept the right angle. Yeah, this guarantees the right angle. No, Man, that was a small spot. window to fall in and not be hooked on the 10 or the 9. That was a heck of a shot. Well, he's at the table. It, it probably was very natural, you know, just yeah, straight just high ball. Perfect. Okay. He's got to make a pretty nice shot here. Um, yeah, just stun out. Yeah. And this is where he'll try to get out more to straight in, but he won't force it. The right. He won't, he won't risk missing the three as much with that. Yeah, and just yeah, make sure you, know. you make the three. Well, I say I always they say <laughs> make sure. If it was just as simple as making sure, we'd never miss a ball. Well, he's going but forward. That gives you your best chance. And that gets him closer. Oh, wow. no, he's not going forward. Yeah, he, he tried to do stunned. quite a bit there. I mean, when you hit it that firm, man, you got to hit it good. And the five by ten, I mean, it's just it's daunting to shoot those kind of shots on. He overcut it. By mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. He didn't. He didn't catch it like he want, wanted to. You think you dribble this in and play for the four on the side? I think he can hold for the two four. rails for the four oh. on the side or the oh, corner. Oh, okay. I wouldn't go one rail. Okay. I go two just to make sure you made it. Well, just yeah, yeah, like more that, comfortable like way that. to shoot it. Right. Plus, you have the corner very right, easily, right, so. right. Yeah, you would have had it that too soft to play at one rail. Man, this is a a repeat of our World Nine Ball Championship from just a couple years ago, and Omar was right in that match oh, till sure the was. end. Uh, before 
But Alvin does a heck of a lot when the pressure's on, brings his best. Sharik mm -hmm. Syed up 5-2 to two after trailing 2-0 to Corey Duell. Wow. Hunter Lombardo putting a heck of a match together over there against Shane Wolfer. Now, Shane hasn't played his best with, with the opportunities he's been given, but but uh, you got to hand it yeah, to Hunter. Hunter's a Hunter's a veteran. He's been out here a long time battling with the best players in the world. He knows what he's doing. He's a, he's a great. Ooh, look how light this is. Wow. Yeah, he... He uh he got a little uh, anorexic on this six ball. Oh what a shot! Yeah, Watch it's gonna the, be over the nine yep. here. Oh man, might be really over the nine. Yep, or near it. No, he's got to make a heck of a shot to avoid the corner. Well, this goes away from both ways. Whichever yeah. way you pocket it, you're going yeah. away from the nine most likely. And he's at, he has to elevate to avoid scratching in the corner. Ugh. Yeah. Boy, you hate to just waste such a great shot on that six. He's kind of, I don't know, he's kind of like almost looking in that little bit like slappy mode, like where he's just kind of <laughs> leaning over and punching at stuff or something. I talked about that last match with Mika on a few shots. Uh -huh. uh, it's very easy. That's like the next step from a stroke is get to slapping at it, yes, you know, and it doesn't yes. take much. Oh, no. You let the frustration set in, and you could just start blasting away. He's worried about going into the 10. He could come off the 10 into the 9 and scratch. Oh, maybe. sure. I think there's some problems here. I think he's still got to just play yeah. it into the 10 and take yeah. his chances. Yeah, you got to try to cut it in, let the 10 slow down the cue ball. Yeah, and play the 9 in the corner, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just nice like shot. that. Pushing the 10 a little more into play. Alvin, you can see, very left eye dominant. Yes. Yes, like you. Yeah. Plays like you. He does a lot yeah. of things similar. He actually yep. throws the cue as well. Mm-hmm. It comes out of his hand, and then mm -hmm. he re-grips it. Uh-huh. Holds it super light. Yeah. The only one he doesn't, you know, some players that throw the cue, uh, kind of all, all the most famous, Efren Reyes, that did that. Mm -hmm. But um, as most players, you don't do it by design. You just learn to play a certain way where you accelerate the cue with a light grip, and it just kind of happens. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah, that's I, right. I, I played five years before I even knew I did it. <laughs> I, I never thought about yeah, it. Yeah, a friend of mine said, oh, you throw the cue like effort. And I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Throw the cue? That don't sound right. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, it comes out of your hand, and then I recognize it. Yeah. So most of the players that play this way, they do it with follow and stun. Um, it doesn't happen with the lighter shots because you don't, develop enough momentum right. for the cue to come out That's of your hand. That's right. But, and then the draw stroke is different for a lot of the guys. I still throw the cue with the draw stroke. Some of the guys oh, yeah. don't. Some of the guys don't. Oh, so. Yeah. Yeah, and I was learning. I mean, there wasn't cell phones, and, you know, we were in the, the, the WWW. Yeah, the wagon days going to turn it. So, like, the first, you know, and then I got to see myself on camera once with an AccuStat, and then I noticed, I like, wow, I got my wrist kind of forward, my pinky finger sticks out goofy. Yeah. I hated the way I looked <laughs> over the ball, but I was, like, stuck with it at that point. Yeah. And now all the youngsters are, like, videoing themselves, and, you know, so it's kind of a different era. Yeah, I think the grip is a is, a, is the most unique mm -hmm. in, in the uh, most yeah. personal thing. In yeah, the, oh, for sure. In the swing, so. And I still haven't figured it out. I think it has a lot to do with eyes. The thing, the thing that I cannot stand about today's day and age, though, is the Facebook Live. Let me think about it. You're walking around, and there's somebody Facebook Live. You don't know it. Seven billion people are going to see what you do or say. I mean, that just can't be good. That's a, that's a train wreck <laughs> waiting to happen. You know. Well, John, so you're everybody a busy just, man. Don't worry yeah, about it so much. Yeah, no kidding, right? But it just seems like a a, a wreck waiting to happen. All right, a little stretched and off angle here. Um, good thing is he's close to it as far as the proximity of the cue ball to the mm -hmm. three. He'd really like to get dead straight on this four, I think, where he could just yeah. draw back above the eight. Yeah, so watch outside pocket just uh, a little. Man, uh, how good is this cue uh, ball? Uh, uh, perfect. And from what I'm seeing so far, and, and Omar is kind of, I don't, I, I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I have a feeling Omar – is wanting to just get this match over and get out of this arena. Right, well, like, doesn't feel well. Yeah, there's something sure. there's something not right with him right now. 
All right. He can take a little cut. Doesn't want a ton, but he can take a little cut on the five. Oh, he got yeah, a lot out of this. He hit it great. He hit it perfect. Well, when I see a great straight pool player like him, that's, you know, he's just range hundreds and two hundreds and millions or whatever his high run is. Um, it just doesn't surprise me. They, the good straight pool players always seem to move that cue ball around real smooth, real effortless, real um, conservative and nice. And he's, uh, he's kind of a – you don't hear his name come up much when we talk about straight pool, but he's one of the best in the world at it. And uh, – that's got to go just a it's, touch. It's, He's perfect now. Come across. I think he plays the eight up long. Yeah, I think you have to unless it. I guess well, there's it, a little eh, bit of it, a tricky shot yeah, with the nine there, but I think I don't, I don't know. So here you want dead straight on the eight. Speed's important. Oh, it kicked a little. It did, didn't it? It kicked a little. It usually costs your cue ball a little, that's little right. bit of and distance. It did. It robbed a little distance off it. Yeah. Now, if this shot was hill hill, do you shoot this with a high center? Or with a bottom right, you know what I'm saying? Like let the cue ball just go out to I'd the middle. I probably go down on the ball. A right, myself. I do too. You know, I do. I want to shoot it down. I want to shoot it with down that rail with a little pace. Yeah, I want to hit it like that. Yeah. I don't want to roll it with a high ball. Yeah, is he gonna get away with this? Uh, Mars gonna make a pretty good shot, but I mean, this is about all you could hope for. Man, you could almost take a free bank at the corner down there. Yeah, and, you're and, shooting and, and, up the yeah, side. Yeah, I would shoot. Yeah, <laughs> I would, and I'd draw the cue ball back just in case I missed it. Uh, you think? Just put I a little pinch drop? No? Nah, just make sure you make it. Stop your yeah. ball. Can't win that U.S. Yeah, Open yeah, worrying yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, that's you know true. That. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's the way so to I like them taking a little more time over the ball there, though. Yeah, he almost looked like he's trying on that shot. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he does play fast, though. So when, the guy, when a guy's a fast player, but they start playing bad, it looks like they're not trying. Right. But things are just going bad. And now. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's get a look at that eight that was missed by Albin. It always makes you wonder. How the heck you catch that point going know, by? Isn't that something? Oh, and it barely caught it. I mean, if he cuts that two millimeters more, he maybe makes it, you know. It's a, it's a game of uh, very small margin. Yeah, a game of not much. Yeah, not much. <laughs> Ralph Suke, timeless. Oh, yeah, he's such a great player, such a gentleman. One of my pool heroes for sure. Nice shot. He just made the seven with some inside English smooth. So, again, Alvin, our defending champion, a match that you brought up right at the beginning here, 6-6 six, six with John Francisco and Jason Shaw. Wow. Seven ball, possibly. Yeah, yeah. and this is the difference. Wow, look at that break. What the you know, He just made four? Yeah, but getting a, the one over the corner is a little Not harder right. on the 10-foot because of the space of that top uh -huh. rail, right? Uh-huh. So uh -huh. we'll just see how many times they dress that one up where, where it's shootable a little bit more often. What do you think of kicking the one, kicking behind Try to the make one it in the side because well, you got the nine as uh, Santa's little helper there. And then, you know, you figure to leave him something long and tough if it doesn't go in. And if you make it, you're on the two. Yeah. Not that bad, right? Not terrible at all. I'll tell you, I think if it was really push come to shove, he probably hits the left side of it. But, okay. But um, the kick has got I, a lot of merit. Yeah, now. I think he's he's, he's looking, looking at, at the kick. For I mean, sure. even if you leave him a shot, it's going to be some long, hellacious shot with the cue ball on the back rail. I kind of like this. Kick it right in the side. Well, he's pocket. hitting left English, so I don't know if he's oh, doing this oh, or yeah, not. I think something. he's going for the bank myself, wow. which is okay. Oh, he oh, tried to wow. kill the he bank there. It. Well, he, he smartly left distance. You hate to have the one get like that, though. That's the one shot that they can do something with. Yeah, that was kind of my – I thought he would bank it to the other pocket uh, okay. before that one. But, anyways, maybe it didn't go by the pink four. Oh, get up off that rail. Yeah, he's got to make a nice shot on the two here. I don't know about you, Jay, but my swing thought here is just hold still. Shot. Yeah, 
You know, just hold still. I'm just a mediocre rifle shooter, but I could beat the world champion if I get to move their gun right <laughs> when they pull the trigger. You know what I mean? And just hold uh -oh, still. This has got a lot more pace yep, than you wanted. Yep. So this is where the 10 foot starts to show up. And maybe not on this shot, but if you keep oh, yeah, missing you, position a little right. bit. That's right. Nice shot there. Holy cow. He He's really got a got lot of skills, that's for oh, sure. Oh, he sure does. This ain't got tricky. Does he have to move the ball? Yeah, I, I think he has to go high left English, two rails. Oh, he missed the nine. Gosh, yeah, he's out of sorts. Yeah. The swerve on this table is tricking him up a little bit, and he's just, you know, when you're not feeling right, man, I'll tell you what, he could just be going through the motions right now. It's an awful feeling when you're just out. You just feel like you're out there singing the national anthem buck naked and on a cold day. You know what I mean? It's like you got nowhere to go, man. Nowhere to go. You're playing bad. Like, can I please leave? That's funny. Uh, I've been there. Oof. All right, to a 4 1 lead now. Now, Albin Hill. He's still trying to figure things out. You can tell in this face he's a little wandering. Yeah. Well, it's a doggy dog world. I mean, Albin's not going to go over and give him a hug and a couple free games. I mean, he's thinking, cool, I hope I beat you 11 nothing, 11-1. Right. O Omar is um, – I've actually never seen him with this body language and looking down and just looking disgusted. There's, yeah, I think it's I, some physical. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll be honest, too. I think he's upset. And what happened the other night, and he's been getting crucified for it, probably on social media, and it's probably bothering him because he's used to really being like that nice guy that everybody loves, mm -hmm. and it's maybe freaking him out. Like, maybe, yeah. Because, you know, you know that you got your side of the story, and I wish people knew what really happened or whatever. He is not himself right now. I mean, that nine ball, I mean, you know, I know he was spinning it, but at, at a world-class level, how much would you like to bet it? He at least made the nine. Forget the position, but he missed the nine, you know? Yeah. And the ball was three inches from the hole. All right, the ten's gone down on the break. Oh, that nice doesn't break. count, I don't believe. It did go in the side, though. Oh. So the side, oh, just the ten, of, ten didn't he, count, period. Yeah. Corey Duell down six to three against Shark. Mm -hmm. Just hung the five ball as well to yeah. maybe cut that lead. Isn't it something how your momentum and your confidence? I mean, here's Corey, a guy who literally won everything on the planet and was beating people 11 nothing in the finals. And then you just change decades, and it's like his momentum. He just can't get the momentum, you know? Yeah. And he just walks around dejected looking, and it's just, I mean, it's amazing how things can change. Well. And, I mean, I mean, it ebbs and flows. I've seen him win plenty lately and all that. I'm not saying, like, he's all done or something, but just something how, you know, from one tournament to the next, it looks so easy, and then the next time you see the player, they, they can't hardly get anything going. He's opening the Oh, six. what a nice, nice shot. shot. Yes. Yeah, and for players like Corey and Mika and, you know, guys that are trying to stay in form, get mm -hmm. back to that form, mm -hmm. however you want to label it, mm -hmm. I think some of it's intimidating because they got to put in a lot of time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. even if you're in your prime, right, you got to put in a ton of time against this, yeah, this now, crew we're with today. And, and now you're 45 years old and you're just like, man, no, that's not I going to get it. No. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Which before, you know, to be fair, oh, this is going to be off a little bit too, it looks like. Uh, Left to cut. Yeah, to be fair, um, you know, years ago with some tournaments, especially tournaments, 150, 160, 200 players, mm -hmm. you know, not saying you want to be out of stroke, but maybe you felt like you could you play could, a match yeah, or two. Yeah, your first match or two, you could, like, get in stroke. Nowadays, right, forget all that. play a good that. match with it. Yeah, or something. yeah, yeah you, you're playing Albin Alshin first round now. It's yeah, insane. you better lag pretty well. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> forget like, about yeah, yeah. getting a few freebies in there. Yeah, you're right. Yep. There's some truth to that. All right, that speed shouldn't hurt him, even though he's going to be a little bit behind it. Oh, he's going to have to make a good shot here. Stroke's so good, though. Oh, yeah. Man. I'm a firm believer the better the stroke, the bigger the pocket. Yeah, yeah, sure. 
I used to play with Buddy Hall, Chief Poole, when I was young, and I watched him hit the pocket pretty crude on some shots. But yeah. Didn't even think about not going in, though. Yeah. No, that one's not going. See, I, I mean, this 5x10 with broken in cloth is no joke. Even, I mean, Alvin Alshin just missed if that, if that tells you anything. This is like Beth Page Black right here we're dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Pocket, see ya. Oh, man. Gosh, he just can't get rolling. And both of Albin's misses, he didn't have his paws at the cue ball. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of went from the pre-strokes into the swing. Yeah. I'm surprised he's drawing this. Normally he would yeah, follow he's going this ball to, he's into going the, to the rail, side. isn't he? Yeah. Going to the rail. And... But, in, but in fairness to these players, for one, I know Omar is out of sorts right now, but if they got to play on this 5x10 for three or four days in a row, I mean, this is their first set. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's tough to do because this table is brutally tough and it's different they've been on a nine footer for a day or two practicing and everything and uh really hard to get up and play perfect on this table and uh you give albin you know two or three sets on this and it would just start looking right i'd want to plan a snooker table with pull balls <laughs> all right let's look at that miss uh from Albany again on the eight. See if we see if we see any like yeah, body movement or cue well, twist or anything. Never, the thing that's the timing to me. If we didn't get to see it all right there, but he usually has a nice pause at the cue ball uh -huh. before his swing, and I've noticed both. Yeah, and we'll get a look at the other mistake that ended this rack. Yeah, and Omar, from Omar, Omar scratching his Yeah, let's get a look at that. Our predator instant replay. Oh, may have to wait on here. It right, is. There it is. The rail first was oh, it? No ball no, first. No ball first. Okay. Oh man, right in the side. That's so brutal. Be hard to do that on purpose. Well, he hit those square. Wow. He, he back. Wow. Look at that break. One in a similar position though. So usually what that means, because he's breaking from his left, so you notice he's crossing the one over a hair. That's why the one's coming more straight down the mm -hmm. table versus more towards that upper left hand corner. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so he'll, you, a lot of the guys don't mind that crossover as long as they're flying the cue ball past the side, but it's much harder to fly it past the side on the 10 footer. You got an extra bit of distance to make that happen. So. Oh, Sharks, I uh, did not get out. Now 6 to 4. 6 4. Jason Shaw leading 8 6 and shooting. Jump, jump shot. Well, you got to hand it to John Francisco. I mean, uh, you win six games against Shaw, you're doing good. I don't care who you are. I never dreamed he would end up short there. Yep. On the three after banking the one in. Can he edge uh, the three right. and go behind yeah, the four? That's what I like. That's the one pocket player in you <laughs> seeing that immediately. Yep, come right off the three and behind the four. So it'd be a pretty little shot. Perfect. Nice shot. And now I look at Alvin as a guy that is constantly trying to learn what the best percentage play is, Pos oh, yeah. position and all that. And, and I wonder if he has a particular way of going about it besides just, you know, a lot of reps, learning as you're doing the reps or playing matches. Or He's so good at making uh -huh. the decision. I almost feel like he has – you know, some kind of system to work at things you know, or look at things a certain way yeah, to see he, what's better. You yeah, know? he shoots smart shots. He's a smart player. You just can't win the titles he's won. And be just some haphazard, uh, you know, gunslinger type shooter like uh, Tony Watson or something. I mean, he plays smart. Well, if you look at the last few years and really look at a few of the events in the Premier League event they had, mm -hmm. didn't really play that great if you look at the overall – <clears throat> picture for for Alvin. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> excuse me, but his foundation is so solid on shot selection yeah. and cue ball travel and way he goes about it. Right. That it, even when it appears he's not playing that great, right. he's still playing real. His solid low goal. gear is still like solid pro speed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then he seems to get it 
yeah. all in form come towards the end well, of the you, events. You know, I, I equate that to some of the pro golfers that have like less moving parts and they don't have that super crazy high gear and the, you know, hitting it three, four, but they just, they, even when they play bad, they can scrape it around, even par, make the cut, be there at the end. Yeah, and if they get the putter yeah, going, they have yeah, a chance to win. Some of those guys with like the two plane move and the big wrist hinge and a lot of leverage. They hit it real far when it's working. They win by you know a million strokes, but they can miss the cut too, yeah. like a Mickelson. But Albin is just steady. He's there all the time. Uh, I mean, yeah, if this isn't cons considered a consistent player, I don't know what would be. Yeah, and has all the firepower oh, as well. Oh, yeah, has the high gear too. Mm-hmm. But you just don't see it because he's in it, position. Right, now. yeah. But if you look at, like, really tough shots, coming with tough mm -hmm. shots and big moments, he oh. definitely has yep. has a nice highlight reel. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's got to be cool living in Austria. I've never been to Austria, but what a gorgeous place. Yeah, I went to Switzerland this year on a, oh, yeah? a little mini vacay. With What'd that cost water. you, about $3 million? No man, I got I got really lucky with this trip, but yeah. uh, but my wife and sister got to join me and oh nice, it was a lot of fun. But it was by far the most beautiful place I'd ever been. Yeah. I say by far, I mean it was it was the nicest I ever mm -hmm. been. But they say Austria is even better. I don't know. Oh yeah, Austria not, is unbelievable. I mean they're right I, next to each I'd other. I'd love but. to go out there in the summer and rent like a sport touring bike and ride through the Alps and just you know do that that do don't that for a month yeah man. yeah right <laughs> <laughs> that air gets a little thin yeah. out there i think i don't know there'd be some people throwing a party if i died in a fiery crash but hey yeah i'd like to do that i've always thought that'd be that'd be exciting to go over there but i know the best pistols are made there the clocks well that'll start an argument on the internet no they're not <laughs> all right, all right omar. omar come on buddy hang in there Oh, wow, that was a good-looking break. Maybe a little too hard, but it yeah, was cool-looking. Seven's going to get him, I th mm -hmm. think. No jump cues allowed here in the 10-footer. I don't know. I kind of have this motto playing rotation pool. Like, you know, you can try all you want, but there's certain days and tournaments where it just seems like the balls made me look good, and there was tournaments where, like, nothing went right. So when it's your time, it's your time. Just don't stress. Like, you're going to win when you're going to win, and you're not when you're not. Is that, you know, I'm not trying to say, like, don't try and just be defeatist, but Bobby Hunter told me that a long time ago. He goes, don't, just don't sweat it. You, you just don't know what's going to happen, yeah. you know? You can't yeah, make it make you gotta it happen. You got to make sure yeah. you're still giving maximum effort. Yes, though, and you got to be prepared. But like, know, it might be yeah. a tournament. The yeah. ball's laid to where you shouldn't cash. But right. with that maximum effort, maybe you get that 13 through 16. Right, which is nice. Some things yeah. out. Sure, you know, not just for money, just for confidence. Just for you know, points and, and confidence and everything. Yeah, yeah you're right. And, and then you know, and then you get that middle ground where the you had some that were good, some that were bad, but you fought yeah. through it. You know, and then again, like you said, when the, if you're prepared for that, because this is the thing. If you're not prepared, yeah. the bad rolls will shark you, right? But the good rolls can well, shark you, too. Yeah. You know how many yeah, times you, start... you make a great shot and then fumble right afterwards oh, yeah. or whatever oh, or get a roll? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, you know, that's, that's funny. Palmer bring... always said, I, I give it 10 seconds to praise myself or to swear myself. <laughs> yeah. And then that's about it. I'm done with it. Uh-huh. Of course, yep. they got to walk to their bowl and all that. For yeah, it gives you time a little to different, think, but. yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah. I just adopted the attitude of no, like, I, like nothing wrong with like, that. But you're I mean, still giving maximum effort. I'm giving you're not max, give up. Yeah, but I noticed like one tournament, I'm like, I didn't play no different than the one I won, and I came in dead last year. And so <laughs> it's it's just I don't know. But like Albin, I mean, he looks like he's trying his you know hardest on every ball, every shot, every match. And I adopted more of a like, let's just see how the chips fall, which you know maybe isn't the best way, but well, that's it's thing, all though, I knew. It's, it's supposed to be different for different people. Right, right. You know, that's, yeah. the, that's the thing about it. Yeah. Yeah, I think my pool. You try to be him, you might, you yeah. might have problems. No. It, yeah, my personality, I had to just not sweat it as much or I'd go crazy. Ooh, I don't know if I'd do this. I might just chip the yep. two and go between the 310 and just give him an easy kick. I don't want to sell out a shot trying to get a devastating I like coming snubber. down like this behind the six. Oh, he didn't hit it right, though. Yeah, you mm. called it. He left him. I mean. Well, yeah, when I'm the guys are, out here. you know, to say it nicely, 
struggling. Yeah. yeah. He's struggling. Amar, I, I wouldn't bet two cents on him making this. He just don't feel right. And then he spears it. I never went on sports betting. <laughs> that was a nice shot. Sure was. Well, Omar's got all the strokes and oh, all the yeah. shots. That's for sure. And it's and it's a little bit because his cue ball can be a little, you know, out of mm -hmm. line at times. So you're going to develop different different yeah. types of shots. He's in trouble here. Yeah, he's bit. in big trouble. He has to make an incredible shot here. Jacked up, drawing back. I mean, good luck with this. Wow. Wow, that was a heck of a shot. Looking hmm. to get back on the board. Yeah, when you're not, like, really tall, I mean, those jacked-up shots, like, for short guys like him and me, they're brutal. We can't see what we're doing, you know? High right English, two rails, beautiful. Perfect stroke. Yeah, beautiful. I'm going to shoot it left-handed. I cannot hail a cab left-handed. I really yeah. could miss that ball left-handed right there. Well, this, I mean, yeah, this got a little funny coming oh, yeah. backwards. Uh, yeah, this ball's pull this ball off the rail right, easy. Right, easy. Yep. Because he's using bottom left to play shape. Nice shot. Yeah, really nice. But what a great out that was. He just, and, you know, you've got to watch for the player in that kind of. Oh, my goodness. What in the world? You know, you, you kind of got to find this interesting as a fellow human and competitor to see the dynamic of somebody that's really on tilt and just like, wow, I mean, I've done this myself. I thought I was the only one, you know. It gives, gives us all hope. Yeah, it's a little and different, it, though, right? It, I mean, I know he didn't try to miss that, did he? No, I don't think no, he did. no, I mean, he, not at all. No, no, no. But, but what I, I mean, meant what is, is he, he entered the match not feeling well. It's not like the match got him on no. tilt. It's not like missing some no. balls. He just kind of started that way. But, I mean, that shot, that shot was right over the hole. Well, that one you can understand missing. But, mm. but this one right here is tougher than the one he just missed on the side. You're right. I mean, you can miss this if you flinch a little bit. Oh, man, I know what he's going through. It's just such a sickening feeling. I mean, he's such a great player. And, he, you know, and of course, this has got to be filmed. And, you know, <laughs> you get to watch this on YouTube the rest of your life. That's always fun. Man, I, yeah, I want to I see this miss again, Jeremy. Uh, this tent, yeah. I mean, if I remember right, it was like two inches from the hole straight in. Oh, well, no. No, it wasn't. I'm stupid. No, it was a foot away with a little inside. Yeah, he put inside for some reason that wasn't necessary. No, it wasn't first necessary. Off, maybe he likes to cut them thinner with a hair yeah, inside. Some yeah, it, it, honestly, with spin, that shot is missable, especially when you're kind of slapping them a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that is really all right, Jason Shaw, it looks like he stretched it out and pulled the win out at 10-6. Mm -hmm. Was 6-6, six, six, mm -hmm. though, so good shooting, John yeah. Francisco. Yeah, Jason played great, I'm sure, and uh, like he always does. And, yeah, John's got to be proud of that, getting yeah. six. Put some confidence together. Yeah. You know, he's going to go the one-loss side. He's still in this event. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, it's pretty rare you can miss a 10 ball and still win the game. O Omar won the game. Yeah, this table's going to produce misses, even as great as these guys are. Although, Omar, if you're watching at home and you've never seen him play, this is not how he plays. He's just not feeling right. And uh, this is just not the true Omar you're watching, believe me. Oh, there's a nice little rub. Yeah, kind of made the yeah, five a little yeah, easier Yeah, right, as well. right, right. I mean, he's got a chance to make it 6-3. I've seen funnier things happen. Well, I mean, that's just right? one off, one game off of what you can, the closest you can get after nine mm -hmm. games is 5-4, right? You know, right. Not far off of a dead heat, really. A lot but, of matches brewing here. Shuff up 8-7 to seven over to Koch. Uh -huh. Roland Garcia did win 10-2. to two. Donnie Mills in a battle with a very good player. Doug Thien Long. Donnie Mills is 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, who's, who's he 8-8 eight, eight with? Uh, Long. Oh, Doug, okay. Don Thien Long. Uh -huh. And then uh, Aloysius Yap did win 10-2. Shane Wolford now cutting it back, 9-6. Mm -hmm. Trailed big time, 8-2 in that match. Ralph Suke cruising, 9-2. Yeah. Nice shot there. Chris Reinhold showing a lot of heart against a guy that started off, I think, You're with right. a five-pack. 
uh, BJ wow. Usuri. I, I didn't see Chris come to the table. Wow. It was five nothing. Oh well, it's alternate break though. I thought in the night. Oh, it is alternate okay, break, so but I didn't see him at the yeah, table. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right about okay. that. Wasn't a five pack, but uh -huh. but I never saw him pocket a ball. Let's say that. Yep. Rolling out. BJ Usuri FedEx to package to Chris. Yeah, well, well five in a row. Well. Oh, he plays real good. Yeah, pro player. I mean, pro caliber player. I think sure. he's a really good kind of tournament style player from what I watched him play too. Real uh, grinder, uh -huh. good percentages. Sure. Yeah, he's been doing Heady it a long player. time. Yeah, I've known him twenty years. Good I shot. never really knew the guy until I met him uh, just here fairly recently. Yeah, the last couple I, years. So. Yeah, he came out to L.A. probably in '01 or '02. First time I saw him play. Oh, nice. Yeah, he knows what he's nice doing. Nice run out here from yeah, Omar. Yeah. Good to see. You know what's crazy, though, is for him to be down 6-3 the way he's played is not bad. No, it I feels mean, like it should be it, worse. Right. Tyler Steyer about to get kicked off. Well, I'll tell you, the, the craziest thing I've ever seen in tournament pool, without a doubt, and everybody's got their set they want to talk about, this is the damnedest thing I've ever seen, and this happened for real. Efren and Allen Hopkins playing 10 ball, race to 11, alternate break. I think you were in the tournament. I can't remember which one got on the hill. Where Ten, at? Where? Uh, Vegas. Okay. Efren gets on the hill 10-0 or vice versa. I think it was Allen got on the hill 10-0. Okay. Allen got on the hill 10-0, and you know the rest of the story. Look at our Efren billiard. come back and win the set. It, with alternate break. Our Bayard Academy. Rack track. Alvin won in the first six out of seven now. Omar with two in a row. What, my story didn't impress you? No, I like it. But can it. you imagine that? I've heard the story it's, before. I sat right there and watched it, and I'm like, how do you get was up it 10 the BCA? It was like the BCA 10 ball. Hopkins wins 10 in a row on Efren, and Efren wins 11 in a row alternate break. It might have been the world 10 ball. Man, or something. It was, cr it was the craziest it thing I've ever seen. might have been the one that uh, did, uh, Rodney Morris beat Drago in uh -huh. the of that match. I got third in that match. Yeah, I, I, I remember you. I remember Boost you playing Monty, great. I played terrible against Bustamani in mm -hmm. one of the same. Yeah, you played good now. And I, but, I, I mean, <laughs> what's the price on that? 10 nothing alternate break and then losing the match. <laughs> I could tell you some funny ones. Man, I bet. Oh, I've seen it all. I've lost matches from spots that are just so impossible to lose. Crossside bank here? With I mean, little, why not? He's got to draw it, though. Yeah, why to not? To position, because otherwise you got to cut the, this bank a little. The mood he's in, I'm betting he's shooting this bank. He banks great, too. But on a 5x10, like, wow, he made it no problem. It was just could hold his ball. What a shot. Yeah, I played the Carolina Open, which was pretty oh, much a Oh, that was a good event. event. Oh, um, sure it was, yeah. And I broke and ran 30 racks my last four matches and lost the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I ran a six, a seven, an eight, and a nine. And oh, wow. Not, not broken ran one here. Two, yeah, three, yeah like, you're hitting like, them with, like, packages and lost. Yeah, and Johnny, Johnny beat me 13-12 thir in the final. Oh, man. Wow, that's some strong nine yeah. ball. You would think you'd win the tournament. Uh, if you yeah. Run thirty your last four rounds. Matches, yeah, but. yeah, no kidding. I'm always elevating. I, this is oh, see, this, this is where I'm different. I level out with a little oh. spin, just a hair oh, of spin. He's man. trying to get into the eight, maybe. E either option, Jay, is super tough. What a shot he made right there. Yeah, really I mean, you have clean. to play pool to even understand how hard that was. That was just uh, a great shot. Well, I see a lot different Omar than man, started tell now. Me about these, it. These last rack and a half uh, may have been putting the gamesmanship on, on <laughs> Alvin a little bit, saying, hey, I'm ready to go I grab mean, a bite. Uh, yeah, I mean, but but the way he's played, I mean, he can miss the eight in the side. I can't I can't figure out what he's going to do. He's yeah, just but he's not taking more time. It. He's right. looking at position. You know? uh -huh. It just looks a little different to me. Yeah, he has Eklund this. Eklund Kachi going to tee it off here. Oh, yeah, great player. Soon at the 8 o'clock hour. Well, I told you about my uh, neck tattoo I'm getting, right? He's got one that says perfection. I'm getting one that says I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wraps around your entire neck. Yeah, exactly. Okay, speed controls all. Nice, nice shot. Wow, how is he in this match the way he started? This is something else to watch here. Got to make a good shot here. Ooh, good shot. Yeah, it doesn't even look like the same person all of a sudden. He's playing great now. Yeah, and it's, it's cool to see. It's, it's weird. You can look at trailing, but when you start to make a comeback, it's almost like you just yeah. You come back quicker than what the score really says. Right. It seems like right. 
And that's everything. You go just sweat any other sport. Mm -hmm. and, you know, they're down three touchdowns. Oh, a few minutes went by this, that. Oh, it's 21-13 now. Well, you know, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, there's missing balls and there's losing games, and we've all done that. But for a world-class player, I mean, he missed two or three that we were, like, shocked, you know, like that were just baby shots. And to overcome that mentally and physically and be in this match is quite impressive. Well, that and then do it on the 10-footer. Yeah, exactly. You know, this isn't a 7-footer. Yeah, this isn't a 7-footer. Right. Yeah, where it's just... Dink, dink, dink. Yeah, it'll take care of you when you're dogging mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if he crosses the one over again. No, nope, much square. Right square, actually, from the dead center of the table. Five ball's going to get down. He's going to have a bank or a cut on the one. Yeah, the eight nines. uh Tell you, if the three up. was a little more freed up, he may cut the one and try and go the rail and brush the eight open and take mm -hmm. a long distance shot on mm -hmm. the the two on the two. Like if the three was hanging over a hole, exactly. Right, right. Yeah, if all I do is make the two mm -hmm. from long distance, he but he needs the correct angle on the two to give him transition to the three. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think he can do that. Or I'd be surprised if he did. Right. Anyways, now he might go around these balls. Three I think rails. he's banking it, Jay. I think he's drawing out of the corner. Yeah, I think so. Oh, nice. Or just one rail. Nice shot. He's got an available three in the side, so he'll follow down. I don't think he's going to stun across. I mean, what in the world do you do with the, the seventh or the eighth, though? Well, the six is there, I mean, and I think if he lays on the side rail, the kiss shot, like it's, yeah. say he gets on the six yeah. full, right, and draws down it or falls down, and he takes a cut on the seven to fall on that same side rail uh -huh. by play, the eight nine. I think the kiss the shot's on. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that. I don't uh, see what else you could do. Yeah, he caught it just a fraction heavy. Good shot. That's what I would look at anyways. Yeah, that's what he's looking at now, the kiss shot right there. Do you know if Albin's using the 12-4 Revo or the 12-9 or the 11-8? Uh, it looks like a 12-4. keep up with the Predator too no, much. No. Yeah. I think it's a 12-4. Good shot. Yeah. yeah, I thought he overcut it a little bit. Nice shot. Nice shot. I think he wanted more angle than this myself. I, I'd much rather roll across off the ball with a little left check than stun across yeah. off the ball. Yeah. That's just me. The glancing hit can get away from you so easy. But this is one you should practice, though, oh. because you're not always going to be able to get that oh, rolling yeah. ball, right? Oh, yeah. No, you got to have that shot in your arsenal, no doubt. So he's okay here. I would have rather get off the rail more than come down with the cue ball much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he wanted an angled. It, there's a couple reasons. He could have played the seven in the same pocket if he gets to the center of the table and wrap around to that rail. Now he's got to kind of take more of like. Stay up above the seven. I think and so. Then high left English. Exactly. Okay. Nice. That's exactly what he needed right there. Just yeah. get as much off the rail more than down near the seven. He needs, to, he needs to come down high left English, land right on the left rail on the second diamond, and play the billiard on the nine. Yeah, short is the only fault yes, here. Right. You can get all the way up That's, really close to these yeah, balls right. and still make the kiss shot. Mm -hmm. And the closer you get, actually, you control the eight a little better. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah, so yep. high ball, closer maybe a hair of left. Yep, hair of left. The cue ball gets a little left climbing across the face of the seven, and then you add a little, and uh, it should be just right. When we say a little, what are you thinking, like a quarter tip? Max. Right? That max, maybe eighth tip. Yeah, you don't need much. Oh, he hit it good. He even oh, cheated the pocket yes. to avoid that yes. side, because if he hits the point there, he can't make the kiss uh -huh. shot. That's right. Yeah, I think he got just where he needed to get. Another three inches would have been good, but this will work. He's got to have the left spin. The key here right. is don't baby it too much. Don't fall underneath the eight. Make yeah. sure you push the eight over to at least get a thin cut on the eight. Oh, see nice see how shot. he's going to get yeah, a thin yeah, cut? Yeah, 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 yeah. You called it. Yeah, if yep. he hits it a little lighter, it's real thin. Uh-huh, and then he's way down below it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this cue ball, I don't think it goes in the side. I think um, it's close. It is close, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. With, a top, with a top cue ball, top spin, it's going right towards the side. Now, one thing that Albin doesn't mind is he doesn't mind adding that l a little bit of left mm -hmm. to catch this little heavier to get past it, to that To beat side. the scratch, yeah. Yeah. That's Even, how I like shooting it. Well, it's delicate. And it avoids the skid, too, because you're rolling across the eight instead of scraping across it. Yeah, I think a, a little bit of left wouldn't hurt. 
I'll tell you what, though, on a table this tough, I wouldn't be ashamed to just play the safety, you know, bank the eight back to almost where it is and come down here under the ten. You, you know, you're I ahead think you six might be four. Doing that. Well, you're ahead six four. Make the guy earn it. Don't hang this. No. He's, He's on shooting. this big heater He's coming shooting. back. Oh, I was about to say look at this shot. You look can at this you shot. can add more speed oh, trying to shot. avoid the side as well. He went five rails there. That was a cool shot. Really nice. Hit Man, the center of the pocket yeah, with the eight, by great, the way. That was a great shot. Well, he really does shoot out of his left eye, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. he cups the cue not as much as me, but well, just a just hair. Just a little. Yeah. And I really think that has something to do with trying well, to get the cue under the oh, left to eye. Oh, totally. Yeah, because yeah. your rib cage is in the way. you got to kind of get it under to you, you know? Yeah, people talk about always having this one grip, and no. I, I think there's it really has a lot to do with the eyes, the grip Yeah, does. So, yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny, like a lot of the Chinese Taipei teachers, they teach you train the eyes, not the other way around. Mm. Yeah, let's get another look if we can. Yeah, that this eight is a ball. Cool Watch shot. two things. How pure the eight hit the pocket, of course. Wow, and that was two. that was key to that mm. shot. Wow, what a stroke! If he overcuts it to the pocket, oh yeah, you're it hanging it at that speed. Well, not even if it does go down, yeah. I don't think he catches that fifth and sixth right. rail. Right. Maybe even goes off in the side, uh, right off the eight. Yeah, that was a heck of a shot. So he used a little ricochet effect off the eight to get past the side by hitting it firmer. Oh, oh man, we had good. somebody. Okay, he's okay. We had somebody take a pretty good tumble off the chairs, and he's all right. Older fella, he's okay. Yeah. He's, he put his I hands thought, up like well, he's good. Well, we heard a loud noise. I thought Pat Fleming dropped his wallet, but uh, <laughs> no, the guy's all right. Yeah, he tumbled pretty good, but he's all right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you, you gotta have, you gotta have the thing. I'm right down the line of that shot. And when I let it, he let it go, it looked perfect to me. Really? Like it was going to edge that ball. And who knows? I mean, you know, you're rolling a ball 10 feet and cloth, you know. Oh, I mean, no, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, saying right, right. that it my might have eyes were one correct. Millimeter. I'm just saying yeah. what I saw, yeah. you know, and the, the tables, man, tables aren't meant to be absolutely perfect. Oh, no, that because, you, great, you, yeah, you, know, you got, if you played on just the slate, they maybe would roll perfect. But with cloth, I mean, yeah. it's, not, it's impossible for it to not wiggle a little bit. Yeah, that slow rolling ball, I mean, that's got to, you know, move around a millimeter. Michael Yednick playing. My buddy Michael Yednick. Reinhold's down 8-5 and breaking. Well, he's got a small window to fall on the five. Got to land really just straight in on it to get to the six, right? Yeah, and this is just a one rail. Yeah, uh huh. You don't want the yeah, second rail. Yeah, no, here. no, no. Not from a thick hit. Right. If you're coming off the fourth thin, that's fine because it'll coast upward. That's right. right that's right. But or downward in this spot here. Well, he overran his mark by three, four inches, but I like this. <laughs> I think he's okay. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, we wouldn't call that overrun, and that was a nice shot. And that's one thing we talk about all the time. You know, you want to become better, you have to learn to coast the cue ball into position. Mm -hmm. You watch the good players, very rarely is their ball moving fast, even though it does right. go a long ways. Right. Yeah, trust to getting there. Well, he drew the ball yep, a little there, yep. like a draw stone. Yep. I was just watching the backhand because it always interests me. And he threw the cue there a good mm -hmm. four or five inches. Mm -hmm. I think the prettiest swing with the throw that I've ever seen is Jesus Atencio. Oh, yeah, okay. He throws it about 
five, well, six, he's, five, six inches. He's got the coolest hair, too. Easy. <laughs> well, I don't know. I always see it pinned up. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm a little jealous of it, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Robbie Capito getting ready for a match. Oh, what yeah, a talent. great player, sure. Super nice young player. And um, another one that, like, you know, he just carries himself like he's so humble and that has never won anything, and he's a, like a world champion. Well, he's a super nice yeah, guy. Yeah, though. yeah, for sure. And I, you know, I talk about Jesus a lot. That you know, I know Albin, I know Feder, I know all these guys. I still think Jesus has some of the biggest upside I've ever seen, mm -hmm. as far as what potential he has, and he's oh. certainly fulfilling it. Oh yeah, he's going to um, win all kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but I think Robbie's up there as well, as far as an upside. Well, you for know, the future of our game. And right? you know this as well as anybody. I mean, a big part of being a great player is like just showing up. I mean, like. Some people just won't come to the tournament. So you show up enough times, things might go right. You know, you, you get on the plane and you book the hotels and you pay your entries and you go. You're going to do better than a guy that stays at home. Yeah. And, and, some, and of, some of these players, I mean, they're at every tournament. They're going to well, win something. And they're being around the right, greatest. Right, right. I mean, that's. That's right. You know, it's just like being on the road with them. You don't, mm -hmm. you don't realize the effect. Oh, man, being on the road with a great player and just playing all the money games and stuff, what a way to get better. A quick sink or swim, you know. Nice shot there. Oh, oh, I thought he made it. Wow, he undercut it a little bit. Man. So that could bring the score to 7-5. That's a big miss there. Really from nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Um, yeah, they're, they're struggling a little bit. I mean, just run out so beautifully down to the 10, get a little out of line, and hit it heavy. I'm not the only one that does that, apparently. Yeah, most of the misses have been thick from Alvin as well. Well, you know, when I first, I guess, started playing the big tournaments, I because I'd only seen the AccuStats and the highlight reels, and. I just thought nobody ever missed anything, truly. And the first time I played a Strickland or a Jeremy Jones and I saw you guys maybe miss one, I thought, wow. Because I really thought, like, you just never missed, you know. And uh, so it's kind of refreshing to see them look human for a second or two. And, well, just uh, remind you how get... difficult the game exactly. is. And how exactly. great they are to make it look easy. That's right. Because they make it look easy quite often. All right, there's the four rail. Oh, what a break. Geez. The one's coming up. So a cross side bank. The two's covered up though, so probably stays away from the bank shot on the one it, with no reward on the two. It's hard to gauge though how how difficult it is to play. I mean, think about it. back in the old days they talk about the five by ten. Well, they had bigger pockets. We have smaller pockets. We're not playing nine ball. It's ten ball. You know, it's like this table is a nightmare to play on. It plays great, but it is super hard. Yeah, it's and nice. this isn't like day old cloth and everything. I mean, this just couldn't be tougher. But yeah. this puts in perspective like how great Roland Garcia played earlier today mm -hmm. and Alex, you know. Yeah. Because they've it. struggled a little bit. They've both played amazing in spots, but they've, you know, they've hit a couple out of bounds, which you figure to on a table this hard. Yeah. Wow, that didn't roll off. Holy Toledo. Oh, it's going to catch the one or the 10 and slow. <laughs> He smiled. I mean, Amar is such a friendly, engaging guy that uh, I think that whole debacle the other night is just almost like a communication um, thing yeah, or something. Like, like when he's looking over at you, he's trying to engage and have fun, and it looks like he's being weird, you know? Yeah. I, I want to watch that match. Yeah. I, I really, really would like to see exactly what everybody's talking about because I just can't quite wrap my head around what I heard. Is he going around the three here, trying to go two rails up underneath the six? Yeah, it's going to be a little light, it, but, but I, I'm not I think he was trying to use the four, and if he, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a little extra benefit if he gets underneath the six up there. But what do you like here? I mean, would, you wouldn't play the the one into the ten at a hundred miles an hour with no, the two. No, well, the no. two's all froze up. That's what he's doing. But I yeah, mean, I know. But I mean, you is, know, this ain't uh, this Tuesday night league, right? Yeah, you know, this, this is uh, <laughs> for, this is serious business. Yeah, that's true. I'll tell you what, though, you hit this ten hard and give it a ride and go in any pocket. You, he's, that's you, what he's I doing. I mean, you got a half a chance, but I don't think it's the right shot. I agree with you. Well, well, yeah, <laughs> hard to make the ten if you don't hit yeah. it. Yeah, he leaves him a hair more angle. And now right he's got here. the he angle to go right. Out, exactly, yeah. and exactly what you're saying. Like now, look what's going to happen. <clears throat> 
Albin will probably nudge the two out and run out on you. And the three connects to the two. Or the safety, uh -huh. maybe. We'll see. Yeah. But I think he's got a smooth oh. end of these, oh, though. He, he can't hit right. it with a ton of pace. Right. Oh, it's the natural track. Uh-oh. He came on the other side. That's okay. Yeah, though. that's He'll fine. Just chip it. That's better than trapping yourself on the other side. And he's got the orange five to use up the table. Now, here, I wouldn't try to guard the two underneath the seven. Yeah. I would go ahead and separate them. Right. And shoot the two into the rail, let the seven cover the uh -huh. two up. Or, and, and, and go way it. upstream. Exactly. Behind the Use that big five ball. Yeah. Go. That big old beach ball up yeah, there. Yeah, I want to open these a little bit here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, there's like nothing that. wrong with this. Yeah. And this is another reason why I want to open them. I don't want to leave them the soft kick. Mm -hmm. You know, on the two. Right, so he can't just roll up and touch the two. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's going to sell out here most likely. He's ripping at it, I think, in a sense. Well, yeah, I mean, back in the day, that's how we kicked at him because you could luck him in. So we just put a lot of movement on it and hoped most of the time. Nowadays, with this call pocket stuff, you're nudging and kicking soft. Oh, look at here. Kind of get away with it. He's got to like this. Oh, yeah. This is all you could ask for. What do you like here? You ever played one pocket Jeremy? You can't. You can't play. Well, you could play the safe, right? But you might come off the left side of the two and hit the ten. You don't want to do that. I think he plays it thin though, and, try, and, and tries, tries to go back up. Table, yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. And just brush the two to the rail and out a foot and a half. I think leave he can him at hit the right side of the two with the right check and go the oh. rail and up on the three. I, I oh, think he can do wow. that. Just float the two to the bottom rail. Okay. I think that is there. Yeah. That now is you're, there. You're it six go, feet away right. doing it and on the rail, uh, so it's not nice. But Yeah, yeah, it's definitely an option. It's not a bad option. I think he's coming off the left he's side. He's going to kiss this. He's, gonna, he's trying to bank it back down. Oh, I, He's going to kiss it. Yep, yeah, you called it. Boy, and I, I don't. Un, that's the one thing with some of the nine ball players that I know. I play one pocket and all that but, but stuff. Not, that makes a huge yeah, difference. Yeah, they haven't but played ten thousand games of it. I know, but I think they should recognize those kisses. It yeah. seems like to me. And oh, oh, wow, how deep good. is that one? Yeah, that's just. I mean, this table plays tough. Balls, balls aren't real slicked up. I mean, this is tough conditions. That's about as yep. deep as you can get this one, is, I think. This is the back tees at Beth Page Black, you know, greens are firm. I want to play that place one day. but I, I, lived, the, I lived like a block from the first tee one. I never played it. But 20 wow. years ago, I lived in Long Island and uh, New York, and I lived right by the golf course. I didn't play golf back then, though. Oh, nice stroke. And now that's one that you should practice, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. The full hit <clears throat> on a ball deep in the pocket, and just try not to hit any of the rails coming out. It's a very important shot to practice Yep. because it'll come up it. at big oh, moments. It's it always up. a big moment it, when it comes up. Right. It's like a crucial. And you're thinking, how could I screw this up? <laughs> the ball's hanging in the hole. You're supposed to win that game. Well, a lot it's of times you've got to come out with right. a line like that. Right. You're not totally open. That's right. Yeah, he hit it nice. He's got to get out of here, though. We're going to have a real close match on our hands. He should get out. He figures it get out, but I, I don't ever like to say that and make it sound like it's so easy because it's not. This table is brutal. And uh, Well, we've seen it. Yeah. Shot. I thought he could have rolled that, to be dead honest with mm -hmm. you, but now he's stretching and a little thin, so he's got to make a little bit of a decision. Yeah, you come down for the side or the corner. I like the side on a table this long and tough. I'm looking for a shot I can make. I can make that seven on the side most of the time. I know this sounds crazy, but it depends on how good I feel with the bridge. If I'm confident mm -hmm. right here, I just play the seven in the corner. Okay. But if I feel like I'm a little like, oh, I'm, I could get away from uh -huh. me, you know, like kind of thing, maybe sure. I get on top of it, I come for the side. I got you. But I feared this. In yeah, he a little short just a sometimes, little short. You know? Which That's why I was a little surprised he went back and forth on the five. Uh -huh. You have to recognize you got more space coming off that side rail to have a reasonable oh. cut on that ball on the 10 footer. Okay. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Eight five. Albin, if he makes this, he figures two. Yeah. Eight five.
Albin just looked up at us with kind of a, a look of like, man, what's going on? Well, been a lot of pool, you know. <clears throat> so it's, you know, we, you and I both, I think I probably keep up with the golf more than you do. I read, yeah, nowadays I, read about I don't it a lot, play at all. I don't well, I don't play much, but I read about it. I, yeah. like, it. I like reading about that in the baseball. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I used to watch Golf Channel Here's 24 hours a day. Here's our National Beard Academy rack track. So six yeah. out of seven to start. <clears throat> now th Omar won three in a row, but now two out of three for Alvin in the last three mm -hmm. racks. Now the Golf Channel is on 24 hours a day. Back 10 years ago for me, I I don't watch golf anymore. I don't play it. Don't even yeah. talk about it. People say, oh, "How do you play golf?" I'm like, "I don't play. I'm terrible." Uh, well, I, I doubt that. I but, play, I played with you, but but you know, like I just don't even consider myself. It's not, don't even talk about it. Cause but, I, but it's a type of game. I miss it though. Like pool, you know how they take weeks off though. Oh Like yeah. they'll play two, three weeks, and then they just oh. know they need some weeks oh, off. Yeah. Now that's a little more physical game. But oh, I of think course. I think it's the same here. I think we're going to not only benefit from all this pool these guys are playing, meaning we're going to see some incredible pool before oh, the week's out. Yeah. But I think we're also going to see them fumble a little bit oh, because yeah. of so much pool they're playing. Sure. You know, easy to lose your concentration. I mean, nine days straight, you know yeah. what I mean? Plus everything else has been going on. Right. You know, you got the straight pool this last week. You got yep. a huge event in the U.S. Open that everyone was trying to win. Yes. Uh, a lot of pressure and tension. Yes, totally. Um, I agree, totally. So, you know, when when the season heats up, these guys don't take days off. So you're going to have some some downs. A yeah. little more downs, I think, than, than we would expect. Of course. Watch out, 10 ball. Boy, he has to make a heck of a shot here. He has to go two rails off the side of this 10. I mean, this is tough. Well, if the 8 went there, he wouldn't need side. Oh, what a shot. What? Oh... Is he saying he hit the He fouled the nine ball with the Q stick. Oh, he hit the nine with his stick. I, I think didn't so, even yeah. see that. Occasionally, Omar, Man, occasionally Omar can get a little, like, after a shot, let mm -hmm. the Q kind of wander a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. And he, and he feathered the nine there. Wow, he made a nice shot on that four, too. Super nice shot. Yeah. I just hope, you know, regardless, and I think we're going to get a replay here in a moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get another look. Well, at that kudos now, to Omar too because you you could tell he just immediately kind of looked up like I hit the nine. Nobody had to like call it on him. Oh, of course He was kind of calling yeah, of it on not. himself because I didn't even see it. I was looking at the what the four did. Yeah, well, that's what I've said for years about the all ball fouls. Is we played it here now. I know we have some referees, but there's never been any arguments that no. I can recall. The guys I can't know when they foul. Uh -huh. you know, it's very very obvious, and not only that, they're willing to call it on themselves. But yeah, but I hope you know. Of course, we can still see a hill hill match, and whoever plays the best wins. But I hope these last several racks help Omar on his nine ball if he goes on to lose this match because mm -hmm. he he got back into more of his professional yeah kind of form and really digging in trying to win. You know, the first part oh, of the match yeah. I can't explain, but well, oh, you think this table's easy? Them balls ain't sliding in. This thing plays super tough, and he didn't hit that his best. But, I mean, this is just one hellacious table to run out on. This might uh -oh. scratch. No, uh -oh, he's all right. Good. good shot. But it's weird that it's been always a ball late in the rack. For kind of, yeah. Uh-oh. Look at this. See he just scratched later. on the side. Omar, what are you doing? Oof. Oh, my goodness, buddy. Give a backer gray hair right there. Well, Chris Reinhold fighting over there. Oh eight, yeah, seven eight seven. No, oh, he's a great player. And, now and BJ great didn't guy. have the mask on when he started the match. Yeah. When he wow. won the first five games, yeah, he's gotten a little closer. The mask has come oh, on. That's interesting. Yeah, Chris is a good dude, and a good friend of mine. We're both California boys, and he's um, you know like a hundred years younger than me, but we're good friends. Always yeah. pulling for him. Yeah, we might get a chance to see um, Omar hit that nine with his cue. It was very – I mean, wow, how does he hit the He nine moved there? it over a good couple inches. Oh, did well, he? Well, he really? brings it to the side. Oh, like Omar. That. It's just yeah. not watching. Don't do that's that, all, buddy. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of sick thing. <laughs> that didn't cost him the Yeah, game, he won no. the game. He did that earlier, too. Remember, he missed the 10 and won the game, and then he missed it there, you know. Isn't that something? The one's going to come off hot. Wow, that's So he's going to get a break. shot. What a break that was. Looks like the four, five, and ten are – 
in a grants. The two uh -huh. does pass the nine, so. Huh. Good shot to get over that last mistake if you're Alvin Ocean. Yeah. He can come for the two in the side if he wants. He can play the two in the corner by the nine. Boy, I like the two in the side. Yeah, there's yeah. such a big area yeah. there. You know. I mean, the Speed two in the control shouldn't be right. a problem. Two in the corner works too, of course. But this, I mean, yeah, I like this. It's just hard to mess this up. Yeah. So. I'm a corners guy for yeah. sure. I mean, I mean, yeah. But, I mean, sometimes it's obvious, right? Yeah. And that's kind of what what Buddy Hall used to tell me. It'd be obvious when to play in the side. Well, I mean, <laughs> honestly, I would disregard everything I say. People do, and my wife does especially. But on a 5x10, I have no clue what the right patterns are. I mean, I look at certain, like, transitions. Like, do you just go to the side? Like, I think I know how to play a 9-foot pool. Mm -hmm. But I've not played on these enough to know. Foot, yeah. I, I've never played a set of rotation pool on it. So what looks like the right play to me, I'm, I'm guessing big time. I'd have to play a couple days on it of rotation to – um Got to float I have this, a clue. Huh? Uh, yeah, like I look like he didn't want to at yeah. first. Yeah, he wants to go back and wow, forth. Wow, that was a nice shot there. I mean, he got within an inch of where he's trying to get. You got to just roll into the nine here. Hope the ten pushes the five down. Eesh. Or can you avoid the ten and draw over without? You know, you can get tangled up with the. I like kind of pushing into the ten, Jeremy, and making sure I'm not hooked on the nine or something weird. There's you see lot, anything on my more angle? You're coming it, off the 10 here. You're, you're not going right into it and holding. This no. is coming off the 10. So I might yeah. draw this ball yeah. into the 6 yeah, myself. Yeah, this, is, this has got all kind of issues going on here. Now, you can drag it uh -huh. if you don't mind dragging it. Not the shot most would play. I like that better. Oh. I know you may get in Well, a that's bad exactly spot, what. Yeah, it was just not easy. Whatever he chose was not easy, but I'll tell you what. I think how the huge, 6 passes barely. How huge is that? I mean, instead of being ahead 9-6, I mean, uh, Omar's right in it. Big time. Omar's missing 10 balls scratching in the side, hitting balls with his stick, and he's, like, right there 8-6. He's played amazing in spots, and, he, and he's played very um, uncharacteristic in spots. So uh, the fact that he's only down by two games, I think um, he's got to be pretty happy about that. Oh, yeah, that was a good shot. Oh, he scratched. He sure did. Oh, he scratched. Oh, wow. I mean, this is the, kind of the craziest set I've seen in a while. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. Yeah, and the six does pass the nine. It is tight. But thing is, you can get close to it, but you may be stretched a little bit. Yeah, I would think this one over. Well, how do you like if Omar wins a set, and then you, we think back to some of the things that's happened, like, man, how do you do that? <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, but yeah. Albin's had his Al fair Albin, share, share yeah. of misses as oh, well. Oh yeah, I mean, Albin's played now, played a little rough. Yeah, his now his misses look different. But, but Albin's played amazing too. You know, like he's uh -oh. played great too. Ooh, it did slide. Okay. Yeah, no, he's I mean, played he, great. He's That's played, what I say. It's yeah. at the end of the rack. That's right. Been the misses. Yeah, for for a set that we'd remember as him kind of playing bad, he's also played great. Wow, eight to seven. I think this is interesting to watch. Instead of them just playing dead perfect, this is fascinating. Well, it's it's uh, definitely something to talk about. Yeah. Runner-up Max Lechner uh -huh. in action. Runner-up at the U.S. Open this year. Who's he got? I don't know the young man he's playing, but I'll check on him. Here's a little TPAs that mm -hmm. um, are a little lower and definitely a little lower mm -hmm. than we'll see. From these guys in the future and on this week, but yeah. 767 for Al Shaheen Ocean, 818. Yeah, they don't usually shoot shoot a TPA that's lower than their Fargo. I can tell you that they're always up in that high 800s. But I think this is kind of, I mean, this is this is a 5 by 10 with broken in cloth. This is not an accident. This table is going to make everybody struggle. There's no way around it. Well, look at this break to get tied up. He can reach the one leaning over. Everything else is laying in a nice position. Well, He's made two on the break, three on the break. Well, I'll tell you how hard this table is, Jay. If anybody on earth wants to play straight pull on it every day, and I get to play on a, on a normal, I'll just, I think I'll spot him 100 yeah. high run. Whatever their high run is, I'll spot them 100. Oh, yeah. I mean, this easy. thing's ridiculously hard. Well, the thing is with this is 
it ma- everything gets magnified. Right. So even between the ears gets magnified yes. if you lose a little y- confidence. Yeah, you start believing like you can't actually run out on this thing, you know. I mean, look, uh, that ball skid on him. Uh, that ball kicked, didn't it? was didn't a little it? kicky no? stroke, though, in my well, opinion. But Of course, there's differences of opinions on the, what makes the ball kick. I think it's both. I think yeah. it can be the balls, but I think – I know I used to play on some dirty balls. Oh yeah, and I never had them kick. Really? When when I was a kid and in stroke and never, yeah, I never had them kick. And then I'd play on the newest, cleanest stuff ever, and I knew as soon as I delivered the cue and it was leaving that it had a chance to skid. That's interesting. That's just me though. That's interesting. So, yeah, that one did look like it skid on him to me, which is um, pretty heartbreaking. I mean, he would have been able to tie it up right there. Yeah, he got a little short on the three, though. But uh, but Albin's not riding a huge confidence right no, now. This he is going to be long this, distance. It, he knows yeah. he doesn't like this. Yeah. Much further away, a lot more angle. Oh, yeah. I mean, how do you like shooting this? It's a little oh, tougher God. than the 80 missed earlier in the oh, in the man. match down the rail. Very similar, though, coming across. Stayed by the pocket. Oh. Yeah, they uh, they're getting they're getting. Well, I mean that shot you just almost figured to miss it. Oh, what a shot that was! Yeah, we'll see what happens in this match. But if Alvin goes on to win, this is nothing. No, this isn't going to help his mindset for the yeah, next match. Yeah, but I was going to say this is nothing too new. I mean, I've seen the guy so many times struggle early. Uh-huh. And then win the tournament, oh, like, well, just yeah. lights out, win the tournament after that. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I've and seen not our, just one match struggle uh, early. I'm talking about he'll struggle on a couple matches early and then just play perfect. Well, how do you that. like this one iron for your money right here? Well, he likes it. I mean, God, Ooh. look at this. And it's going to come down and hang right in the pocket. And Alvin's let off the hook. Wow. I've seen a lot of funny stuff playing pool, but this one's right up there. <laughs> I mean, we got plumbers and electricians like sending their entry fee in right now, going, "Man, I want to swim to play these two, but this table just it could break you down." Yeah, I don't think he's really making a decision on how to play it. I think he's having a little refresher with his mind right now. Uh, you know, a little stroke, maybe. Well, I'll tell you, the player Thoughts, I've seen maybe. win ugly more than anybody. The first round of a tournament right off a of plane was Archer. I've seen him do it eight or nine times over 20 years where he'd play worse than this and then win the whole tournament. He just he wasn't afraid to win ugly. Wow, this look shot, at huh? this shot here. He, I mean, three balls on the table. How much would you bet Albin gets out? And he's he's got his work cut out here. Yeah, and I wonder about that shot. He's, uh, he's, that was frustration, don't you think? Just a little I bit of like. It, it had to be something because I mean, that's not how you would play no, that ball very that's often not at how all. I'd I mean, play it hill, hill. From, he could have gone forward. Uh, he had an angle to go forward if, rather mm -hmm. than draw to the end rail. So. Oh, nice shot. He's going to get a little friendly bump. Uh-huh. So he's going to carry that two-game lead I don't think we're going to see you a what. missed 10 ball here. Well, I wouldn't bet my life he makes it. I might bet. Danny Harriman's life, he makes it, but <laughs> not mine. This is missable the way he's feeling. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, he looks so disgusted. It's almost comical. Yeah, nine to seven now. Well, you know us players, and I, I mean, I say us, I'd like to think I'm a player. I mean, we all have pride and ego, and, you know, we want to look good and play good and feel good. And, and it's brutal when you go out there and just look like you got, like, Tourette slash COVID. Like, like you just can't do nothing. You know what I mean? The backswing's choppy, and you're moving, and just can't make a ball. I mean, it's uh, it's awful. But it's what makes you appreciate the wins and the great play and when everything's going right, too. You know, uh, but this table, this is a recipe for sets where they're really, we're going to really see what they got between the ears because uh, this table is really tough and you're going to have sets that go real rough. And some people are going to, you know, fight through it. Albin, Albin's, you know, he'll find a way to maybe win and then he'll probably go on to win the whole thing.
That is a good looking table. All black. I like that table. It's great looking. I like the kind of the redder the redder wood too though. The um diamond wood. Yeah, the diamond wood. I like that look too, but that, that black looks nice. And of course they play amazing. That's that's what the players really like. I think the Predator table plays good. I mean, I played on it in Canada for three days, and I thought it played fantastic, but I haven't got to mess with them too much else. But, um, you know, I think there's room in the industry for two companies to make a great pool table. My goodness. Oh, you know? I think there's I mean, more, isn't there? I there's, think there's more than two companies right. out there oh, yeah. pool tables. So. Yeah. All right, rolling out to something difficult. Probably be like the one on the side rail behind the nine. Right. You roll over. You could ran. Oh. This is where you can run the ball too, though. Yeah. You know that, right? Because it's the ten footer. If you have uh -huh. a nice path to get distance, oh, he might get it on the okay. way back. Man, he usually does. Look at this. Look at this. You did. He did. He did. <laughs> That's amazing. Go twenty feet with the cue ball and just nick it. That'd be hard to do again. Alvin's kind of chuckling. Boy, that's rare to see Albin kind of smile and even say something to his opponent. I don't think I've ever seen that. He's no. usually very stoic and like, you know, like no, Nick I mean, Faldo or something. He got one of his world titles over this guy in the finals. Oh, so, that's I mean, right. You know, yeah, like, they've got some history. Uh, good history on yeah, Albin's yeah, end yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, So he's got a chance to reach the hill here. Okay, he wants to probably stay underneath the two to have a natural angle to go forward off the two because the eight's there if you get a near the spot or anything like that right. very hard to work the rock so this looks pretty right. good this looks real nice now he's got a two row angle between the six and four to come back for the three right. in the same pocket as the one mm -hmm. i like this, this is all speed yeah. control is he going to come between the six you know, five right now yes i you could do that but i i think i like just using your 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 man. what i call use your talent just to come uh -huh. two rails and use the speed nice yeah to go between the four or five okay that's what i think anyway on this shot a lot of people don't they always want that third rail and i understand I, it and it was there yeah yeah either play either way he could have done he's it pretty way. thin yeah here. he is pretty thin he you has know? to choke this around with the bottom outside but i think sometimes you pass up on the right play just just mm -hmm. wanting that security of the mm -hmm. third rail um that's right well, yeah, I love the feeling of hitting that third rail. Yeah, all of it us do. Yeah, all yeah, us it do, really yeah. helps, yeah. He's going to kill it out of the corner, pulling it two rails. Mm -hmm. Nice stroke. And what people don't understand there is that's all tip position, not only pulling the ball, but slowing it down. Mm -hmm. He he went aggressively at that. A lot of people let up on that because they're worried about it getting away from you, coming oh, no. out from that thin yeah. shot. No, you, you know? got to cut the legs out from under the cue ball and yeah, go exactly. through it. Yeah, yeah. That, the more you go through it, the more it actually puts the parachute on it. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah, your tip position uh -huh. and your stroke is what makes That's everything right. kind of check. That's right. Well, I, t I tell people that are trying to improve to – let your cue ball go. Spin it. Zing it around the table. You know, show off. Have fun. Spin it and see what the you know. For one, you learn deflection and swerve, and what the cue ball is going to do. Because yeah, when you watch the pros, the cue ball stopping, it's under control. But to develop your skills, you need to practice spinning it around the table. And uh, oh, nice shot there. Just a smidge short, but that was a pretty good shot. Yeah, this... eh, he's not thrilled with it. Yeah. This is actually the, a type of shot that does come up on the 9-foot, but comes yeah. up on the 10-foot a lot, oh, yeah. where you have to come oh. inside the 8 right. to play the two, the cut shot on the 8 later on. You know what I mean? Yeah, he was a little shorter on the 6 than I thought. At first, I thought he got perfect. This is quite missable. This is quite missable. I mean, it, this is just... I'm telling you, this table's tough. All there is to it. There's no way these two great players would miss all these balls if it wasn't. Wow, now, Omar, Omar, I've never seen he him has do that. His extension, so I, I've never seen running. him pause like that. You see how he just paused and kind mm -hmm. of rubbing his head. He might have a severe headache. He don't. He don't look like he feels right. I mean, he looks like he has no energy. He's not sleeping good or something. Yeah, he's he's not himself. Yeah. 
Like well, even these, that shot right there, I mean, he just – These guys come from a long ways overseas. Right. And yeah, no kidding. If you ever traveled abroad, oh. it doesn't have to get you, but if you do it enough, you're, it's going to get you one, one, I, way, one time or another. I did it once, Jeremy. I went to Taiwan, and I will never – I mean, there, I don't know how anybody does. Like an 18-hour flight coach. Oh, good shot. I've got ten days in a room with Charlie Bryant, and he stands in the like the the, th the threshold of the door and looks at me. And goes, "Do you mind if I smoke? I'll stand right here for ten days. I'm breathing the smoke, <laughs> and I mean, it's like you know, oh you man." You must have went over there uh, for the World Nine. Yeah, in '05 to Cal Shung and yeah. uh, lost my cell phone. I think I ate a snake for lunch, and uh, yeah, I could 05. not. '05. Oh, '05. Was yeah. that the year that Wu won it? Y yep. 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 Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna get a chance to look at that that shot here. Up and down yeah, the, the table. twenty feet. Well, watch this. There comes eight feet, another ten. There's eighteen. There's twenty five feet of travel and hits Pink. it. Isn't that something? <laughs> Try to do that again. Okay, not backing off. I'm sure. No, and uh, of course scratches. Hits it like three. yeah, it makes like all the balls and scratches. And the three the two, three, four, six all connect. The seven, nine connect pretty decent. This is this is a rack. He he's a threat to get out here, even though he's you know, playing a little off right now. Yeah. He figures to get out here the way these are laying. Yeah, and I might go three rails oh, yeah. around Abs here to absolutely. get lay on the side yes, rail with top and side. I like it. I'd be aggressive here getting close to the That's three right. off of three cushions. That's right. As a right-hander, just lay it right yeah. over there. Ooh. Oh, boy. Ooh, Look at this. Look seven. at this. I got, excuse me, the 10. And now. I mean, Alvin is just going like, what is happening here? Hmm. I really don't think it's the table, though. I see him being a hair off. Yeah, does yeah. he come three rails tight Man. inside the seven? I think so. I mean, you can't go back and forth and hit no, the seven. You can't do that. I'd go around the seven with inside and try to get real close to the four, just like that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at this. Yeah. Man, this is something else to watch. And then, and then this gets right up over the side, and he can't see it. I think he can. He might. Oh, can he? I think. Well, oh, maybe not. Wow. Maybe not. Swerve it, right? You got to swerve at this. Man, you're you're truly seeing something unbelievable. You're just not going to see Alvin Alston take ball in hand on a on a. I'd hate to call routine out, but sort of a routine out, and knock it out. He is he is on tilt with this table. Um. I'll tell you what, if anything could tilt you, this this table, this thing's tough. Tough as I've ever seen. I mean, you talk about tight pockets all you want, but it's the distance of this table that just makes everything harder. Jump shot. Oh, he massated it. Yeah, he's going to be downtown. Oh, man, what a shot he's going to have to make though. here. And he's dead straight, I think, so he's going to have to elevate to stop his ball. I mean, Jay, he's got a chance to make it 9-9. Can you believe this? God, what a great now shot. Oh, the my. Rail straight again. Even a harder shot. <laughs> Which, don't get me wrong, he's one of the most oh. fun players to watch oh, just yeah. because he does get a little out of line here and there and comes with these shots. So. Oh, what a tough shot. This is like one out of three to make it. He's jacked up. He might have fluked and he's, no. he's going to get safe. Nope, the nine, it blocked right. it. I don't know. It's close. I don't oh, think man. he has a pocket. This is something. Close. Tell you what, do you like do you like banking the the seven upstream and trying to fall down under the nine? Or He's perfect to do so. Just follow straight through on the seven. If you're comfortable putting a hair left, you can check the cue ball off the bottom rail back up on the nine. But the seven's uh -huh. going to go two rails to the upper uh, rail. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> you could bank the seven between the nine ten up the right. table to the end rail and try and squeeze the, the cue ball one rail across. Man, he looks like he's he's shooting. Queuing at it. Oh, does it go? Yeah, oh, it goes. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't think that passed the nine. Nice shot.
I'll tell you what, if you'd have told Albin the speed, the level he was going to play this set and still win, he'd have never believed it. Well, he hasn't won yet. No, he hasn't won yet. That's right. 10 to 8 is our score. I mean, this is an extreme example, but this is kind of what I alluded to earlier. Like, I used to get obsessed with trying to play great, and, like, playing great would mean you'd win for sure. No, it don't. Sometimes you play bad and win, play great and lose. So, like Hunter would say, just just play, see what happens. You can't control everything. You know? Yeah. I'd look at the flow chart and go, okay, I'm supposed to beat that guy, not beat that guy, and then and then you look up and go, oh, that guy lost to that guy, you know. So just don't don't get so yeah. wrapped up in all that, right? Oh man. Yeah, errors are up there. Look at that, 28 uh, errors. Um, that's yeah, this is this is I, I I yeah. Yeah, the best thing you can do is look at that task in front of you, which is that's all you can the do. one ball, forward, and I'm right. going two rails over that's, here. That's then right. that's the two ball, I'm going one rail over here. That's right. <laughs> yeah, just move forward. Yeah, all you can do. one task at a time, and that, oh, that, nice that'll man. save you a little mental anguish. Yeah. Man, how good did he break down? Yeah, he's got to go lefty maybe uh -huh. here. He will shoot occasionally behind he, his back, but he can't reach that one. Well, he needs to get straight in on the two to hold for the four. Big angle on the two. Now you're running into the four, and then it gets interesting. So, yeah, and it's, uh, you know. He's good with the bridge, though. Mm -hmm. So I think he digs on this with low right and takes his chances oh, okay. on getting perfect on this. Yep. This is what I think yep. with the bridge. I'd yeah. rather go low right than right. Your make top and side. Yeah, your know? make percentage goes up, exactly. Especially with the good bridge players. Now mm -hmm. it looks like he's going the other way with a little inside flick. So he's he's looking for an easier position route and a harder make. Just a little bit of a trade-off. Either one's correct. Both difficult. Nice freaking shot. Can you say right perfect? There. Man, how do you hit it? I think good thing he couldn't reach it because he couldn't hit it any better without oh, the bridge. That was ridiculously good. Well, my buddy Jerry McWhorter kind of has a little saying too, like the light. He says the switch can come on. He just you can be playing horrible, and all of a sudden just start playing just great. I've seen it. Yeah. So because you know when I get down on myself, he's like it means nothing. Just move forward. You can start playing good any minute, especially with the straight pull. Like you'd be missing and missing and missing, and then that big run builds, and and you just look like a genius. But you got to uh, give yourself a chance to shine and uh, forget the past is all you can do. Do you like yeah. coming back for the six on the side? I kind of do, I but don't. I don't. Oh, you don't. I, I yeah, mean, I don't you think can. you need to. You can bounce to. two rails you off of it if you want. Would They're, you? Would you just hold out? This one is rail? a ten foot example. This right. is where I might do this on the ten on foot. The, where I don't think I'll ever do it on the right, nine foot right. myself. See now he could have almost got in between there where the eight becomes a problem up the uh -huh, table uh -huh. if he has to play it in the side, you know. So. Yeah, that's right. That's and he made a last second decision there doing that. Initially he was going coming for the corner and he just well, kind of pointed his hand at the last second. Well, I'll tell you what. I this, might draw this, back to the end rail this ain't or guaranteed hold guaranteed for anybody on this table. That's a long shot. Nice yeah, shot. Not to say anything crazy. I mean, but yeah, that was a good when one. I was playing a lot, I practiced a lot. Mm -hmm. So. I never really felt like horrible was going to happen. I ain't going to lie. Right. I, mean, I, I mean, know when I wrong, played a lot. I might, I might have made a mistake yeah. here and there. I might have missed a ball, well, but I just never thought horrible was going to happen. Well, it's funny you say that because I've but never seen But as soon as I didn't horrible. practice, oh, oh, I well, thought yeah. horrible was definitely an option. Oh, it's almost a guarantee. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean if, because if you didn't have to practice, then, like, nobody would practice and we'd all play the same. You know? I love practice. Oh, <laughs> I, I do, too. It's a very therapeutic thing. Yeah, it's like golf, just me I love and, it. Yeah, it yep, yep. I can go out and chip and putt by myself. And, yeah. Yep. If, I mean, I don't even play baseball anymore, but if I had somebody mm -hmm. throw the ball with me, yeah, I'd go out there and do that yeah, all day, yeah. too. So. Yeah. Okay, can roll past the nine, that's past what I the like. ten. Um, I kind of like that myself. Oh, yeah, I do too. Just float it in, come out ten on the side. Oh, he's taking oh, down he's, low. Uh huh. He has to hit this good. Nice shot. So Alvin Ocean, one of his subpar matches, and of course Omar definitely subpar. Hopefully Omar will shake things off and get on with it with the nine ball. We'll have more of Alvin, our defending champion, mm -hmm. into the final eight of our 16-man Bigfoot that challenge. That was, yeah, I mean, that was actually fascinating to watch in a lot of ways. Well, it shows think, you how mental the game is. Yes, right? how tough uh, this table is, how tough the game is, and how great these players are oh, because yeah. this is not how they play normally. So right. It makes like, you yeah. yeah. Well, it was an honor to work with you. 360 days a year, yeah. they're perfect. Right? Yes, <laughs> thank you. Well, yeah, well, uh, thanks, everyone. More, another match coming. More matches coming all week from the International here at the Sheraton Waterside in Norfolk.
Stay tuned for more great pool.